What is going on today guys? Tomcat here and today we are back in Spin Tires and today I'm very very happy to announce to you guys that Spin Tires mods they work again, and I know that other people were were, uh, were getting their mods to work, but for some reason, for like, I was like, something like two or three weeks, I, I could not get my mods to actually work. They would, in, they would in, say they were installed, but they would never actually download into the game, and I was kind of banging my head against the wall trying to get these mods to work, and then finally, a really, really good friend of mine actually, um, t actually kind of gave me some tips of how I could uh, get these mods to work, and they actually worked, and I'm like... I'm freaking out right now because I've got so many ridiculous mods to show you guys that um, we'll probably end up going through every single mod in the workshop uh, by the time we're done with it. <laughs> Not by the time we're done with this, vid this video, but by the time we do um, quite a few of these mod videos, I bet you we'll have covered pretty much everything in the workshop and we'll be like so up to date on them. Um, super up to date, pretty much the latest mods, maybe even before they come out. So, what we're going to be doing in this video is we're going to be using the updated uh, Brute 08 F F350. Which, I'll go ahead and run through what it has, uh, new, to show you guys what they're, uh, kind of like, so some of the new parts that they have with it, before I actually show you what we're gonna do next, but, what we're going to actually do later on in the video is we're gonna be using this to actually tow that Chevy over there, so, should be pretty interesting, I'm excited to see how it goes, and before we go any further, I do want to kind of turn the, the volume down just a tiny little bit, so just to make sure, um, just to make sure it's not going crazy or anything like that, but, he added, he had the, um, he had, sorry, he had the straight stacks and the curved stacks before, but he actually moved the single stack in a little bit, so it's a little bit more kind of just off center, um, which is a lot better. I mean, if you're going to have a single stack, that's where, um, that's where I would put it, maybe just a little bit further to the left, but again, it's preference. And he also added, if you like to run a traditional exhaust, he actually added the option to run a more traditional exhaust. Um, right out the back of the truck, which is kind of cool because it actually does change the um, it does it does change the exhaust um, the exhaust point, which is really really cool. And the fact that they that, that he included that feature that you can kind of position your exhaust exactly where you want it and you can roll coal. But um, for my purposes, we're gonna put the single stack on there. We're gonna put the gooseneck hitch in there, and you can put a log trailer on it if you uh, if you want to, but you could also put a gooseneck trailer on there, which it's not going to let me do it at the moment because I have to position my truck properly as, uh, as per usual. But, in fact, I think in order to do this, we're probably going to have to move the, uh, Type C 4320 or whatever it's called. So, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the way because we don't really need it for this video. And, I mean, it's, compared to the other trucks that we've got here, especially the other trucks we're going to, uh, have coming up soon with mods, you're not going to want the that stock trucks at all, but wow, I'm actually really surprised that that trailer hooked up right here. I really did not expect it to hook up. Oh no, it's glitched in though. It'll hook up, but it's glitched in. Uninstall. We're gonna have to move. Like, it'll hook up, but I guess you have to position it a little bit differently. Let me back it up and then see if it works right here and doesn't get stuck in the ground. Yep, it's good. Sweet. So now, we're going to do a little bit of customization on the Chevy, and then we're going to stick it on the trailer. And my overall objective is to get, I'm going to say, I'm going to say at least up to like, maybe up to like the fuel area. Let's say we get to the fuel area. That's our, our goal, is to get this thing to the fuel area. If we get, if we get it there, then we should be able to get it uh, to, to most of the other places on this map. So... First thing I'm going to do is we're going to move a little bit further forward, and let's see, not the ramp, sorry, we got to anchor the trailer, which is really, really cool how you can, um, how he's actually made it so you can kind of, you can almost run it like you would any other, um, any other attachment, you can do it with the analog stick on the controller, and those ramps are actually really powerful, they'll lift the truck off the ground, which is kind of crazy, but you want to go back to the map, and we're going to go ahead and customize the Chevy just a little bit, the K250. And I'm not sure kind of what I want to put on this truck. I've got, we've got two options. These are the 44s, because if you look, we switch. They're pretty much the same size. The 38s are a little bit small for the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and switch back to the 44s, leave it on the 44s. And I'm going to, let's see, what should we put in here? I like the idea of the toolbox. The toolbox is really cool. And the roll bar, can we put that in there with it? Yes, we can. I, it kind of renders the toolbox useless, though. Because you can't 
open the toolbox, so it's kind of stupid. But <laughs> it's kind of stupid because you can't open the toolbox. But we've got our winch on the front, and we could put a tow ball on the back, like just because. Because maybe later on, you know, if if we did kind of, if we did plan on uh, on keeping the truck for later use, we could take it to the garage and maybe hitch just hitch a trailer up later on on the map. But let's get this thing up on the trailer. Okay, go ahead and make sure you're positioned properly. Stick it right, uh, right in the middle of the trailer will be good. Lock the brake. And now we can switch back to the F-350. And we'll go ahead and... Let's see. Go ahead and... Nope. We'll do our ramps first. Oh, God. That was almost disastrous. We'll put our ramps up first. And then we'll bring the anchors back in. And now, we can get started on our journey, people. So let's go ahead and get going. Now, I'm really, really happy that these that I'm, I can actually use mods again. It was... I missed it. I missed these mods a lot. And I missed the ability to use them. And I think what kind of made me miss mods was the fact that... I went back to, to using the stock trucks and I was like, Wow, these stock trucks are so limited. You know what I mean? These stock trucks... They, you know, sure they can do a good bit, but... They're not as interesting. They're not as interesting as these modded vehicles. I mean, who doesn't want to drive like, you know, through the through the wilderness in a lifted F-350 on what looked like, I'm benchmarking this off the other truck, probably looks like 40s, you know, with a gooseneck trailer in the back carrying a, um, carrying a Chevy truck on 44 inch boggers, you know, just like on this insane like mudding excursion it's just like it's the stuff of off-roading dreams unless your dream is to be a rock bouncer but we'll we might end up covering those later on as well or if your off-roading dream is to off-road military vehicles which we'll be covering those later on as well if you're new to my channel actually go ahead and subscribe like right now because i've got so many mods coming soon you guys will want to stick around you really really will so with the trailer hooked up this thing will go okay um, it's not going to break any speed records by any, you know, any means or any, um, length of the imagination, but it's not the fact that they're, it's not the fact that it's slow, it's actually kind of, it's actually quick once it gets up into, like, say, fourth gear, but let's see, where are we and where do we want to start going? We're heading up to the fuel area, and I believe, let's see, you want to head up this way up across this crossing right here, I think, if I'm not mistaken, but it's been a while since I've played this map, so I'm gonna go ahead and go left, there may be, may or may not be people in the, that are watching, like, just kind of shaking their heads right now, but I haven't played this map in a while, so it'll be a little bit of an adventure for all of us, now, oh, yeah, this trailer probably hates fallen trees, so we're probably gonna have to be really careful, and we're probably gonna have to stick it in low range, and just kind of leave it there. I'm going to stay out of the mud. Because if you're not in mud, you can just kind of drive over the fallen trees with no problem. If you're in the mud, though, and you combine the mud with the fallen trees, yeah, good luck. Because you're going to have one hell of a time dealing with that. It's, it's the combination of fallen trees and mud in spin tires is hell. It's so bad. It's doing pretty well, though. This thing just grips up and pulls. It's got all the torque you need. And if you stick it in low range, it'll just crawl right along. It really has no problems kind of getting where it needs to go. The only thing that it has an issue with, I would say, is if you were ever to, like, if you were ever to get it on something that was so, uh, so sharp of an angle that you were to beach it. But that's honestly kind of hard to do, considering this, that this thing probably has, realistically, it probably has, like, 10 to 12 inches of lift, maybe more. So, I, I would think you're pretty much good to go considering the fact that you're trying to, you know, just get over fallen trees. Let's work our way to this side so we don't have to get in the mud. That mud's probably <laughs> pretty crap if you're going to get into it, if you're going to get into it and, and combine that with the trees. I honestly don't remember ever being on this part of the map, at least not after they updated it. Because th the fact that, like, spin tires, they like to do all these little updates quietly, and then once you go back to the game, you're like, um... That wasn't there before. <laughs> it was like that wasn't there before, and that wasn't there before, and this looks different, and that looks different, and I feel completely out of like I, I feel completely out of place, and I don't know this area of the map anymore. And it's like they try to throw you for a loop, but honestly, 
it's really cool that way because it's like it it's sort of like the map you remember but at the same time it's not at all dude these like tiny little beadlock wheels i bet you they're like i don't know 17s 16s or 17s maybe smaller than that maybe 15s you know with beadlocks dude that that'd be so killer on a truck like this that'd be insane Let's see if I pop it down into super low range. Not really going anywhere. It's kind of going. It's eh. It's <laughs> it's eh. I love my wording on that. It's eh. Okay. Okay. So you're going to make me reverse, huh? I see how you're going to play this. I told you guys. I told you guys. The deep mud and the fallen trees, that trailer hates it. But if I can get some grip... Which it looks like I've found, then I won't have to worry about it anymore. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dig in, get some grip. There you go. Not too bad. It's funny, the tread pattern on these tires kind of looks similar to the tread pattern on the um, on the Mickey Thompson Baja claws um, that my uh, that a couple of my friends recently put on their Jeeps. And I mean it's a really really cool uh tire I, I like that tire a lot i'm running um i'm not running mud terrains on my truck right now i'm running um terra grappler g2 all terrains but i mean they're pretty decently aggressive for an all terrain they're not the most aggressive but they are pretty decent for an all terrain and they go pretty well um considering the fact that they i mean in the end that truck does have weight on its side so it well it has it on its side as it, and it has it working against it so it just depends on what your uh, what your actual goals are and what your use is, you know your use for that truck is going to be. Um, if it was a Jeep, I, yeah, I would have put some mud terrains on it. But the thing is, it depends on what you're going to be using it for. Like I said, that truck sees a, a lot of miles on the street because it's kind of my daily driver. So it just depends on what you it just depends on what you're going to use it for. Oh God. That trailer is hung up bad. I'm going to try and get the... There we go. I'm trying to work it around the tree. Because that tree is just going to spear the trailer. Oh. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. This crossing shouldn't be too bad as long as it doesn't get deep. Which that looks like it... Oh. Oh. Oh, oh dear. Come on, F-350. Come on, you got this. I love how I'm cheering on an F-350, yet I own a... Yet, like, the actual... My actual truck sitting outside is like... I'm cheering on a Power Stroke, yet I'm a Cummins owner. It's a little bit backwards, but... To be honest, I'm not super biased to, to like, to different diesels. I mean, I like... Um, I like the Cummins trucks a lot, but then again, I'm a huge, you know, I'm a, I'm, I, I'm a huge fan of the, uh, of the Duramax trucks, and, I mean, if a Power Stroke is built right, I mean, they can, they can go really, really well, too. I mean, a properly, even a 6.0, even a properly built 6.0, um, somebody that's gotten into it and, you know, torn it down and rebuilt it properly, those things can be powerhouses. I mean, they really can, so it all depends on what kind of work is done to it. It's just some trucks need more work in other aspects or areas than other trucks or well engines but still is the trailer going to fit around that tree no it is not is it going to get speared it yes it is okay we're going to have to get a different approach to that because that approach is not going to work that's not going to work at all give me oh god oh god go in gear please go in gear please these fallen trees, dude. These fallen trees are torture. Pieces of crap fallen trees. Come on. Don't hang up the trailer. Oh my god, don't hang up the trailer. God, the last thing I want to do is hang up the trailer. I have a bit of a plan B if it does get totally hung up, but I'm not going to revert to that plan B just yet. I feel like I'm not going to revert to it just yet because of the fact that there's... Mm, well, you know what? Let me go down a gear. 
I oh it got a little bit of grip. There we go. There we go. That ultra low well, not quite ultra low range, but definitely low range is working for me. Combination of low range and torque. Come on, come on. Come on. There we go. Trailer's inching along. Ever so slightly inching along. Kick it back up. Now, then it just starts spinning. It just starts spinning and smoking the front tires. This is not really doing us much good. This is about all we're going to get, guys. Right. There we go. You just got to wait for it to grab traction. And then once it grabs traction, once it grabs traction, it's pretty much good. It's just you have to wait right for that point. And then once it catches that point and it's not pulling one tire off the ground, um, then it'll then it'll get up and go. I'm surprised I didn't have to revert to plan B. I'm, I'm actually quite pleased with that. I'm quite pleased about not having to revert to plan B. <laughs> really didn't want to have to. We're actually closing in on the fuel area, which is good because we're down to like, what, a quarter of, the, quarter of a tank in this thing? So we can actually get it fueled up and then head back out in the next one. Which would be quite a good thing. Let's keep this thing running. Gonna have to take a bit of an interesting line up the, never mind. Bit of an interesting line is going to be necessary up the hill because of the fact that, oh dear god, because of the fact that we're stuck apparently. We go back. Oh god. I was going to say, can we go back? And then it was like, Ooh! Dang, you go one way, you hit the tree. You go the other way, the trailer gets stuck. Man, it's not liking this hill. Dude, that dude in there's like fighting the wheel. He's like, holy crap, trying to grab the wheel like crazy. There you go. Just stick with it. Stick with it. Don't give in yet. Mobile sun engaged. If we stick it in automatic mode, I mean, it'll probably just... It'll just stay in first. That's all it's going to do. Same thing we were doing with low range, basically. Okay. I've about had enough of that. So, is there anywhere to winch to? Yes, but it's a bit risky, and we're going to try it anyway. There you go. Not bad. Yeah, that's just gonna pull us to the side now. Let me just stick the truck back in low range. Middle of low range. We'll leave it right there. We'll leave it right there. And, oh. That's a little tricky because we could pull ourselves up that way. I mean, and it might help a little bit, but it's not going to help a ton. It's not going to help as much as we're going to need. That's for sure. But maybe, I mean, maybe just that little bit was all we needed. Hopefully it, ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I was like, hopefully, oh, crap, it wasn't. It's still not helping us get more grip. Oh, yes. That gave us just that ex that little extra bit that we needed to help us get up the hill. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Oh, dear. And we're getting a little close to the edge. For my comfort, anyway. Gonna need, yeah, I was like, we're going to need another winch point now because look how close we are to the edge, guys. That's that's sketchy, especially with a trailer. That's really sketchy. Really, really, really sketchy. Pull it up over the tree. Hopefully the trailer can make it. And that's about... Oh, crap. That's about all we have. That might pull us to the edge a little bit, but we're just going to have to deal with that. I mean, we're just going to have to deal with the way that works. 
Oh, man. We're gonna have to work the trailer over that tree. I really hope it doesn't get stuck. Really hope it doesn't get stuck. Come on. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. It's leveling out, so we shouldn't be... We honestly shouldn't be too, too bad off. Once it levels out, anyway. Get up over that tree. Ooh, I'm a little worried about the trailer with that one. I can see the trailer having a problem with it. Parking brake back on. Advanced mode. And we'll see. Hopefully we can get... Yes, there is another winch source. Which is a really good thing for us. Even though it's way off to the side, it'll help us in pulling the trailer over that, uh, over that tree. Oh, come on. Yes! Yes! Oh, yes. Okay, we are good to go. We are good to go. We can just kind of run this thing to the, uh, to the fuel area now. That was awesome. That was legit. Oh, man. Just a little bit more left to go. One more hill. One more hill. Come on. Give... Uh-oh. Oh, God. It's good. <laughs> It's decided to die. Well, not quite die, but it's decided to not quite do what I asked it to do. Come on, come on, come on. What are you doing? Brought it down to a crawler gear. The first crawler gear. Trying to work it over to this side because it's not quite as steep over here, and I feel like it could get... There we go. To get some more traction in these ruts. Just leave it in that crawler gear. Leave it in that crawler gear. Not bad, dude. This thing is a beast. Thing is killer, dude. It's it, it goes. I love it. Shift it up. Oh, this is my tow rig. I love this thing. This is the ultimate tow rig right here. I mean, and yeah, sure, you know, it's lifted. It's not quite the ultimate, like, for on-road use, but, like, dude, out here... Whoa! I decided to stick an 8x8 back here. I'm liking that. But either way, let's get over here, get this truck fueled up. Once we ju just get it... There we go. Put the parking brake on. Truck automatically refueled. And that wraps it up for this episode of Spin Tires Mods. And if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later, and I hope you guys enjoyed.